Hello everybody, my name is Jasirium, and I bid you all a warm welcome back to Let's Play Five Nights with Fatties, a second course. In the last episode, we got through the induction shift with both the interview and the shift. The interview took a little longer because I was trying to figure out where the vibration was, and I kept dying a couple times because... I thought the vibration was coming from one particular area, but I kept dying in the process. But there's no need to worry about that anymore because I finally got through the interview, I persevered, I made it through the shift, so let's move on to the first shift with paranoia. Now I know what you're thinking, if I just went through the induction shift, wouldn't that be technically the first night? Well in a way, yes and no. I mean, you can call it the first night if you want to, but for me, I think the induction shift is more of, like, shall we say, at night zero or something. Just, basically, it gives you what you need to do and what not. So, yes. In this episode, we are going to go through Shift 1 with Paranoia. Now, Paranoia, to me, is kind of one of the most terrifying individuals or characters in this series. I mean, you pretty much know how I kind of feel, or most people who have played this game, or or its predecessor, how they felt about Paranoia. To quote the Heavy from Team Fortress 2 in the Pyro trailer, I fear no man, but that thing, it scares me. Well, that's kind of the same case, to the point where I kind of titled the second episode of my Let's Play of Five Nights with Fatties as such. Of course, I did include women, I'm not discriminatory between any race or sex whatsoever, just to clarify. I care not what a person is like or what not, but I don't judge a person by their character, but by their actions. Let's just leave it at that. So, without any further delays, let's get right into the interview. Ugh, I'm terrified. Let's go. Hello! Oh god, that is horrifying! Um... Oh good god! Jeez! Those faces! Alright, let's begin the interview. Object class. Stop. What? The object before you is a cardboard television, which appears to have been drawn by a child. Okay. Pressing into it from the side with the buttons scribbled on appears to reveal a sort of pocket dimension only visible to a select few. Okay. Some report that a woman exists within this pocket dimension and if seen, is considered to be extremely dangerous. Subjects who have witnessed her experience extreme stuff, as well as a growing sense of paranoia. If you do encounter her, resist any urge to panic. Match any changes you see on screen with the buttons on the side to prevent any further temporal anomalies from occurring. Okay. The failure to do so may see the pocket dimension expand into our reality. Okay. Please record your experience for the museum exhibition. Observe her body change. Okay. Select your response. Okay, so that's what happens if you don't do anything.
Alright, so... I gotta figure out which button to press after that. Failure to do so results in that. Alright, observe her body change and select your response. Uh... Oh, come on! Come on, you didn't even give me a chance to respond! Wrong? Okay, so I guess either delaying or choosing the wrong response results in that. Okay, so I guess green or blue? I don't know. Alright, observe the body change and... Select response. Okay. Compatible. Observe her body change. Select response. Compatible. Observe her body change. Okay. Compatible. Observe her body change. Incompatible. Okay. Observe the body change. Compatible. Okay. Okay. Observe. Uh, green? Wrong? Okay, then that's blue. Okay, well at least I uh, get an idea of what I need to do for paranoia now. Alright, so... If it goes to her breasts, then it's red. If it just goes to her stomach, then... It's green. If whatever that last response was, then it's blue. Okay. Good to know. Alright, let's play the tape. Ignore that. Alright, observe. Red. Compatible. Observe. Green. Compatible. Observe. Blue? Compatible. Observe. Green? Compatible. Observe. Blue? Compatible. Observe. Red? Compatible. Observe. Red. Do keep in mind that all this is randomized, so it won't exactly be the same for every playthrough. Compatible. Observe. Alright, blue. Compatible. The fuck? Okay, that was terrifying. I think I need a drink after that. Cheers. <sighs> All right, let's get through the shift. Night one. 
Hello? Yes, it's me again. So, it says there might have been a breach in our firewall on the computer. Okay. Pop-up filtering isn't working. So, if you see any, cross them off. We can't deal with any more people falling for these. Okay. I swear to God it's making corporate quite paranoid. Oh, in just a phone Of course. The night, make sure you answer. Oh, hi. Just Hello. talk back. Okay, so Crucia is one of the more dynamic exhibits. I don't know what it okay. is, but the model goes missing roughly every hour. No one knows where she goes each time. Or yeah. where you could end up if you don't find her. All right, so, all right, so, apparently, Crucia is that pearl-looking thing there. We gotta come find me. Where? Where? Oh god. Ah, there you are. Okay, so Oh god. Oh god. Why do I still have a phone? Put it down. All right. So, Suki's over there. Alright, it's 1am. Alright, so... A surefire way to tell where Crucia is, is... By... Finding... And... What the fuck?! No! What the fuck are you?! Alright, so... A surefire way to tell where Crucia is, is... Oh, God. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Uh... I hear something. No, no, go away, go away, go away. No, 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 no. Yeah, you better run. All right, so... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck, no. Okay, so that's what happens... Okay, so that's what happens... If... You don't find Crucia in time. Also, as you just saw with Milkamine, if she gets into your office, flash her in the eyes a couple of times. Well, just flash your flashlight a couple times until she gets annoyed and goes away. And I assume that purple thing... I assume that... I don't know what that purple thing is. Yeah, 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 it's you again. There might have been a breach in our firewall on the computer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. So if you see any, cross them off. We can't deal with any more people falling for these. I swear to God it's making corporate quite paranoid. Oh, All right. and if the phone rings in the night, make sure you answer the call. Just don't talk back. Okay, so Crucia is one of the more dynamic exhibits. Yeah. I don't know what it is, but the model goes missing roughly every hour. No one knows where she goes each time. Or where you could end up if you don't find her. Yeah, I think we know the answer to where we do end up. In her frickin' stomach. Alright, put the phone down. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. 
All right, where'd you go? So yeah, every passing hour, Crucia moves, and the only way to ensure your safety from her is to find her, like so. All right, so... All right, so Suki's inflating her balloon. We'll just leave her at that for now. All right, no one's there. All right, where are you? What the fuck is that? Is that supposed to be paranoia? All right, where the hell are you? Crucia? Crucia? Oh god, you're approaching me, aren't you? Crucia? There you are! Oh, come on! Nope! Nope! Alright. She's just hanging out there, so that's fine. Of course you would. So, technically, the whole thing with Crucia is basically a game of hide-and-seek. You just basically have to figure out where she is before she gets you. Nope! Don't you dare! All right, she's gone. Anything on this end? Nope. Oh, come on! Fudge! No, 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 no! 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 Stop it! All right, Crucia, where are you? There you are! It's only a matter of time. So, yeah, Suki, if she comes in, you have to basically play like her minigame in order to stop her from doing that. You have to match the thing correctly. If you fail, then... then you will get inflated, like so. Oh, shut up, ads! Alright, Crucia? Crucia? Hello? There is nothing. Okay. Alright, Crucia! Crucia! Where are you? Oh, fuck. You won't last more than 20 seconds on this new diet. Uh, oh my god, I made it! Okay.
Well, that takes care of that. I don't know how to find the mini games yet, but there are some mini games that you can find within the levels, but we will get to those when we get to those. All right, so that's going to do it for this episode of Let's Play Five Nights with Fatties. In the next episode, we're going to interview Elina. So until then, I will see you all next time. Ciao!